Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to Jumps and Spots in Advanced Warfare. Today we're going to be looking at the map Instinct and I absolutely hate this map. Cannot stand it. In my honest opinion, I think this is probably one of the worst maps in all of Call of Duty's made in the history of Call of Duty. I absolutely hate it. It's a sniper and assault rifle heaven and if you guys do not like using snipers and assault rifles, well then you're going to have a really, really hard time on this map. So the spots that I'm going to be showing you guys are really, really great for if you're using a sniper and assault rifle and I like to hold down different areas on this map because this map is very very wide open and when you get caught out in those open areas it's really hard to stay alive so I'm going to show you guys some great spots that are easy to hold down that'll help get you some great kill streaks hopefully you'll be able to do pretty well on this map so let's get into it so the first spots that I'm going to show you are on this back spawn back here and this is a very very great area to hold down because you only got to watch the middle the left and the right and then you can just you have this back this back side of the map back here to kind of cover your back so you don't really have to worry about getting killed from behind you can kind of just sit back here right off the spawn take out people coming from those top stairs up there or that little alleyway right there some other great spots or things that you can do is jump up on top of these these um I don't know what this thing is. I think it's a crane. Yeah, it is. You can jump up on top of this crane, these crane wheels or whatever, and you can kind of just sit up here, take out people coming from those top stairs up there. And then if you move to the front up here, you can do the same thing. Take anybody out coming from there, coming from the alleyway. And then you can also take out people on that top platform up there from that left side. And then you can even, even if you move over to the right, you can take out anybody going through that middle area right there as well. So now if we move on to the other side, the same thing applies for these ones. These ones, they give you a little bit more cover, uh, but then you can't really see that left um, the staircase up there but they do give you a little bit more cover and a little bit more view of that top platform in the middle and then also you get another view of this right side of the map so if anybody's trying to come around through that back side of the map you can just take them out from up the up on these uh, little wheel things now if you move on over to these box these crate um, I have no idea what these things are called these little bunker things if you guys go on top of these things these things are another really great spot to hold down if you're sniping because you can see anybody coming from that stairway or alleyway area back there you can take out anybody coming from the top platform up there and anybody trying to get around the back just like this you can also move on over to the other one but this one kind of leaves you, leaves you a little bit more vulnerable to people on that top platform underneath the top platform or people coming from this alleyway or the back side all the way around that area over there so now if we move on over to this side I love holding down this top part up here this part up here is a lot easier to hold down it's probably one of the easiest part, the places to hold down actually because not a lot of people come down this back this back alley I don't even know what this thing's called the back route to get behind everybody if you're gonna if you're gonna get up here you're just gonna kind of want to sit up here actually what I like to do is I like to sit up here take out people spawning from that back there then I'll run up here a little bit and then I'll run up to right here, take out people coming from that back area back there. And then usually people like to jump around and have sniper battles and machine gun battles and assault rifle battles in this area back here. So if you're kind of sitting right here, you can just take out people just like this. Bing, bang, boom. So easily whip out your assault rifle, take out anybody who's coming through this area, take out a sniper, snipe out people coming from back there. And then you just kind of make your way back around this backside and then you do the same thing all over again. Just snipe out anybody on that back spawn back there. So now if we move up into this middle area up here. This area right here in the middle, uh, this thing is really, really great to hold down as well. It's a little bit tougher though because you have people coming from this back spot uh, back here, this back spawn, and then they just kind of like run around this these sides here. So this part, you're going to want to be careful here. You're going to probably want to have a buddy that's watching this side because people, they like to come through here and they just kind of run right up here and then they always always pre-aim when they're coming through these things I always get killed from behind so if you're gonna if you're gonna hold down this area be sure to quickly jump up here if anybody's coming through that backside and then take them out just like that but yeah this is another great spot to kind of hold down if you guys are playing online now let's move back onto some more great jumps and spots so those are kind of just areas that you can hold down that I find really effective now I'll try and show you a couple good spots that you guys can use while you're playing online there aren't a lot in this map and as a matter of fact a lot of them are gonna kind of leave you a little bit vulnerable but they'll help you out a little bit so if we move back down over to here I should have showed you guys this at the beginning but this right here so if you're kind of if you're holding this area back down right here and you have somebody coming from your right side instead of going out into the open like this use these wheels as cover and just kind of peek through the little hole right here and then just take them out just like that it makes for some great cover and it just it gives you a little bit more of a chance to be able to kill them instead of getting killed and then it's a lot harder for them to kill you too because usually if they're coming from this backside over here they're gonna have an assault rifle and sometimes a sniper and if you get out in the open like this you're, you're probably gonna get killed if you have a 
sniper because it's it's really hard to hit them with one shot if you miss your first shot they're probably gonna instantly kill you it's so much harder to hit them on the second shot and now if you move back up into the middle area up here this is probably the only other spot that I can really show you guys that actually helps so this little thing right here actually helps a ton if you are trying to take out anybody coming from that little area right here kind of head glitch the crap out of this thing and then if you kind of move to the right right here you have this is some cover you have that little box is some cover and then you can take out anybody coming from back there same thing applies for this one this one's a little bit harder though if you kind of want to just lay down as you guys can see you can take out anybody coming from that back area coming through that tunnel there and then if anybody's coming from over there use that thing as some cover that's pretty much um, pretty simple knowledge that anybody would kind of use but yeah that's pretty much it that I've found on this map everything is so wide open and so difficult to get into a good position on this map if you you use those couple spots that I told you though they will help you out so much and they'll hopefully help you get some good kill streaks on this map oh yeah also if you hold out this little area down here I mean I do not like camping at all but on this map it's kind of mandatory if you kind of hold out this little area down here as well you can get some pretty good kills from anybody spawning on that backside back there so that is pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed there weren't as many jumps and spots but there were some pretty good areas to hold down that I really really enjoy using so if you guys did like this video go ahead and leave a thumbs up hopefully you guys try out these couple areas that I showed you hopefully they help you out and that is it for today guys I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video video. Peace out.